Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing latest TCS Ninja and TCS Prime interview experience. These interviews happened yesterday only, that is on 22nd June 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Okay, and guys, regularly I am posting interview experiences for different different profiles and for different different days. You can see here that lot of interview experiences for every date I have posted starting from 9th June till today. So make sure that you are present on this channel because once you get the result also, then also there will be lot of things there, there will be IPA also, there will be document uploading, all these doubts you will have. All those videos I will be posting in this channel. So make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button. Okay. And guys, we are taking mock interviews for different different profiles, whether it is Ninja, Prime or Digital. If you are not feeling confident about your actual interviews, then you can come and book a mock interview slot with us. All the links you find in the description box. And also we have la recently launched our TCS important interview subject notes, which I will be discussing later in this video. Okay, so make sure that you are present on this channel and watching this video till the end. So guys, now let's start this interview and do hit that like button before moving ahead. Okay, so guys, first of all, I will be discussing the Ninja interview experience and then I will be discussing the Prime interview experience. Okay, so let's start. First question, as you all know, is self-introduction. So in self-introduction, I have told you thousands of times you can include your education background, your skills, your projects, your internships, your achievements, your extracurricular activities. Okay. So this should form an answer of approximately around one or one and a half minute and it will be good for the interview. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is explain exception handling in Java. So exception handling in Java is simple. We have try block, we have catch block, we have final block, finally block. So in try block, we place the, those things in which exception can occur in catch block. We try to catch different, different exceptions. We try to handle different, different types of exception in finally block. So whether an exception occurs or not, whether the try blocks run successfully, whether the catch blocks run successfully, the finally block will always run. Okay. And in finally block, what we do, we generally, uh, what we do, we generally like close the connections like database connection. We are closing any other type of connection we are closing. Okay. So this is what exception handling in Java means. Okay. Moving to the next question is explain final keyword. Okay. So final keyword, again, it's a very commonly asked question in the interview. So final keyword can be used with variables, can be used with methods, can be used with class. So final variables cannot, once uh, final variables value cannot change. So once we have defined a particular value to a final variable, then it cannot be changed in future. Okay. Next is final methods. Final methods cannot be overridden. Final methods cannot be overridden. Next is class. So final class cannot be inherited. Again, I'm telling final class cannot be inherited. I hope this final keyword is clear. Next is uh, asked me to write the pattern printing code. So pattern printing code is like this. Okay. So two loops will be there. Uh, let me just uh, write it quickly here. If you will know. So for I equal to zero, I less than N I plus plus. So this is the outer loop which will, which will be denoting the, uh, which will be denoting the uh, rows. Next will be the inner loop. So for J equivalent to zero, J less than equivalent to I J plus plus. Okay. And again, in this inner loop, what we'll be doing, we'll be doing C out star C out star. Okay. And after this end of inner loop, we will do C out and so that for uh, like next row start print printing from next line. So this is J I. Okay. So this is the loop of this pattern printing. Okay. So this is a basic, basic coding question can be asked in the Ninja interview. Okay. This pattern printing next moving to the next question, write the SQL query for students scoring marks greater than 70. So let's just suppose we have a student table. So select star from student table where score is greater than 70. So this is what a simple SQL query is for the student scoring mark 70. So select star from student table where score is 70. Okay. So I hope this query is clear to you. Moving to the next question is what is the difference between method overriding and method overloading? So if you're watching my videos from past 10 days, you will see that in every interview, this question is commonly asked that what is the difference between method overriding and method overloading? Okay. So I will not tell you the answer here because this will make the video large, but uh, this is again a very commonly asked question. You can study from anywhere. Okay. So sorry. Moving to the next question, uh, what is local variable and what is global variable? So let's just take an example here. If uh, let's just declare a global variable here, I'm just giving you the example. It is not the actual code. So let's suppose this is a global variable and here we define a function, this uh, function name void. Okay. Here we define a function name void. 
in this we give int b equal to 10 so this a is a is a global variable and b is a local variable uh, outside this function outside this void function this b does not have any scope it will not be recognized but outside but this a will be recognized outside the function as well to every every method or every uh, method in that class in that particular class so this is what a difference between global variable and a local variable this int b is a local variable int a is a global variable okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is what are different types of string methods okay so string methods can be uh, like uh, we have a caret uh, caret uh, i caret index so uh, if we have a string str is equivalent to let's suppose code then there are some certain method string methods which we can apply on this what we can do so we can do char at index i think this is the method caret i okay okay this is one of the method then we have substring method inbuilt okay then we have substring method and then we have two or three methods more you can like study by yourself like uh, i'm just giving the example like these are the inbuilt methods which a string class has okay so i hope this question is also clear to you so if you are found finding this video informative to you and if you have not hit that like and subscribe button till now please do that because every like and subscribe button gives us motivation for making more such videos okay moving to the next question is what is the difference between final finalize and final keyword so final and final keyword i have already told you uh, in the past questions finalize keyword is for the garbage collection okay just remember this thing okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is about one of my java projects so again projects are very major part of your interview whether you are giving a ninja interview whether you are giving a digital interview or whether you are giving a prime interview projects are very important okay how to explain your project in the interview i have made a dedicated video on it i will give the video link in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it okay next question is what is cdn so cdn is a uh, content delivery network its full form is content delivery network okay so those who are uh, those who have your projects in cloud computing or those who have studied aws a bit so they would be ref uh, they would be knowing this term what is a content delivery net network it serves as a cache for your applications on a high level it is a cache for your application okay just one line answer is it is there okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is next uh, these were all the technical questions which are asked in the ninja interview now let's move ahead for the hr interview questions which are asked for this ninja interview so hr interview was introduction tell me about your hobbies what are your likes what are your dislikes okay tell me about your family your family background what your father does what your mother does what your siblings does okay next is asked about my final semester result and how much i i am expecting in it so again it is dependent on you that how went how your exam went and what what is your percentage till now okay the last question in the hr interview was asked about my city what's the speciality of your city so again it is again dependent on you that how you answer this so this was all for the ninja interview i have discussed the tr also questions and hr questions also okay and if you have forgot to click on that sub like and subscribe button till now please do that okay so this was all for the ninja interview now let's just move towards the prime interview and before moving to the prime interview i would like you to know i would like you to tell about this important interview subject notes that we have launched recently only okay so in this we have total 12 pdfs which are covering different different subjects c++ python java dbms sql coding questions operating systems machine learning cloud computing all these type of all these pdfs are there in these particular note notes and in these particular pdfs what we have done we have uh, curated the actual interview questions through on these subjects so if you will if you will open the c++ pdf you will find the commonly asked interview questions of the tcs okay so these pdfs are specifically designed for the preparation of tcs ninja data and prime rule to make these pdfs actual interview questions are considered so we have clubbed all the interview questions of c++ which are asked till now and we have added it in the c in this pdf similarly for python also uh, operating system also networking also machine learning also cloud computing also so we have curated all the uh, type of questions which are asked in the interviews and we have uh, club them into a single pdf here okay so the and for all these pdfs there is a very nominal amount of rupees 99 okay this is a very nominal amount that you can give all the buy links are in the description box whether you want to buy this subject notes or not because these notes will help you for revising your concepts and for the last minute preparation so if you feel, if you feel like that yes these notes will be useful to you you can buy this the links you are finding find in the description box 
and if you want to book mock interviews with us whether it is for ninja role prime role or digital role again the links are in the description box for booking these slots okay so now let's continue the video and move let's move towards the next prime interview experience let let me cover those okay the first question in the prime interview was explain project and what technologies you used okay so again project as i have told you very important part uh, and in prime also lo lot of videos you were if you are seeing in the past then in, on my channel then you will see, be seeing that in prime the major focus is on the project and the technologies that are used in the project how to explain your project the link i have already given in the description box and and in the i button okay moving to the next question does your project in co corporate ai and how so yes uh, this student's uh, project was based on ai only so he has told that how ai was used in this project okay this was but uh, was asked by the interviewer next question was what do you know by oops concept so oops concepts are basic like abstraction is there let me write this abstraction is there polymorphism is there uh, encapsulation and inheritance encapsulation inheritance okay so i hope you know about this uh, concept because these are very commonly getting asked next question is is c a oops language so c is not an oops language c++ is a oops language okay next is what do you know about dbms so why database is used what is database why we use it what problem it is solving so all these things you can tell to the interviewer in this particular question next is difference between primary key uh, and foreign key and what are the different types of joins so again primary key we all know it is a, it helps us in uniquely identify a record in a table foreign key is the reference of the primary key in the other table so that joins can happen different types of joins are outer join uh, left outer join right outer join and uh, inner join okay so i hope this question is clear to you so if you will look at my notes then these questions are already covered there okay yeah next is is database mandatory for all applications so yes database is mandatory for all applications because where would you store the data you will be requiring a database to store them so yes it is important next is can a table have more than one primary key so answer is no a table can only have one primary key and that primary key can consist of one or two columns okay that is the correct uh, mm -hmm. definition of the pri uh, primary key okay next is what is the difference between ai and generational ai so this this question i have seen now that this is very commonly getting asked in the tcs prime interviews that what is generative ai that is this is a very commonly asked question what is a generative ai so do read about gen generation ai okay i hope this question is clear to you next is which current technologies tcs is working on so you might be knowing that tcs is working on blockchain also it is working on ai ml it is working and spring boot also it's working uh, cloud computing uh, everything is going towards the aws or azure sites so all these technologies tcs is currently working on next question is why do you want to join tcs so again the answer depends on you that what you want to say in the interview next is some questions on machine learning okay so some questions like explain naive bayes algorithm explain random forest algorithm explain decision tree algorithm explain what is bagging and boosting so this is also concept in uh, this trees algorithm only what is confusion matrix in binary classification explain underfitting and overfitting explain variance and bias bias so if you are making a project on machine learning then you will be knowing that okay these are very com these are very simple basic questions which can be asked from a machine learning perspective okay and if you will again check my notes also then out of these uh, eight questions seven questions are already there so i have not i have not included this explain naive bayes algorithm there but now since this uh, question is asked here i will also update those notes also and yeah so again uh, maximum questions if you will see here whether it is from dbms part or whether it is from java part or whether it is from machine learning part most of the questions have been covered in my notes already in different different uh, in different different uh, pdfs okay so yeah so java c++ all these are different pdfs and all type of notes are covered also all type of questions are covered there okay next is coding questions so two coding questions were asked from this candidate but but one is a cadence algorithm next one is a fibonacci series again both are very easy and very commonly asked coding questions not uh, tricky not uh, something tricky here okay next is so yeah end of fact so this this particular interview this uh, prime interview went for 40 minutes only so uh, the round was clear tr mr and hr all things were clear but uh, some hr questions were not asked from the candidate but still he uh, he was told that uh, okay yeah your tr and mr went good okay so for uh, if uh, hr is not happening for you it is not it does not mean that okay uh, it does not mean that you are rejected okay for some some uh, uh, what i will say for some colleges in some colleges hr did not even happen 
but the candidate had the good interview okay so this is not uh, the justification that okay if the hr is not happening then uh, you you are rejected this is not the case okay so i hope all the questions in this video that i have discussed are clear to you whether it is for ninja role whether it is for digital role projects are very important so do check out those do do make projects and do mention them in your resume okay and if you have not hit the like and subscribe button till now please hit that because every day i am trying to bring new new interview experiences with new new questions that are getting asked from the candidates which will be helping you in for your interview so do hit that like and subscribe button and all the by links whether for the mock interview and whether for these notes are in the description box do check them out thank you for watching this video